It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Nice. Looks like little Harry Callahan here really is with the My Sacramento My name is Wars. not Callahan. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. Yeah, get that gun out of my face before I break it. Alright, I don't want your drinks. I'm out of here. We gotta go find Author McFly. And he's gotta be here somewhere. There he is! Hey, Artie. He's back. Yeah, I don't think he can hear us. Considering the fact that he's in uh, a bus or whatever that is. Man, it's such a quiet town. So, what we gotta do now, I'm assuming, is... The other clue was... Maybe Einstein can sniff out Author. Well, I remember... If you remember, Einstein sniffed out Author's hat, and it led to him, so... I think the pipe that, uh... Dixie Trotter gave us... Would uh, probably lead us to Author. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And, uh, I believe that the dog is around Edna because the dog absolutely loves Edna and Edna hates him. Right, Hottie? Right, Edna? Edna? What? I want your song! Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure! Let me just get a page out yes. of Edna. There you are. Hey, thanks. Thank you. I don't know why I want that, but whatever. You know, Trixie Trotter sings a song that sounds a lot like your You Should Care. She does? Yeah, but hers is a little more carefree. That's what you get when you sing for booze hounds and gangsters. <laughs> At least she understands. I, you know, I like Edna. She's, she's pretty funny. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Uh, Officer Parker reformed. Trixie Trotter turns on Tannen. Very alliterative. But is it true? Has she really come over to our side? Not yet. Uh, that's soon. her job. Just you wait. Thanks for mm. thanks for ruining everything. All right, that's enough of her. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Why does Parker refuse to do his duty? Because I don't know. I have no idea why he w he won't do what he's what he's supposed to do. He's a jerk. All right, so let's take the pipe that uh, Trixie Trotter gave us and Einstein help us find Arthur. Hey, boy, take a whiff of this. <laughs> Gotta love that nose. Oh, okay. You went to see Frankenstein. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. <laughs> but, but... Officer. <laughs> we can talk of the Majestic. Talk, away from idiot. flying eyes. Talk, you moron. Yeah, Einstein. You done good. Yeah, Einstein. You done good, man. You done good. So, Emmett's gonna get his big idea while watching Frankenstein, huh? I guess that explains a lot about Doc. Yeah, well, Doc is the man, you know? Alright, let's go to... Uh, I don't know where... Here? Hey, Doc, I could use... Oh, that was help. accidental. I guess What's I went to the right place. All right, we got a lot of problems. Um, first of all, how do we fix Parker? Are you sure Tannen's supposed to be arrested by Officer Parker? The guy's a mess. Mess or no mess, I'm absolutely certain that Parker's your man. In fact, it's his arrest of Tannen that will eventually lead him to become Hill Valley's chief of police. That seems really unlikely. Wait a minute. I freaking got it. It just freaking hit me. He never arrested Tannen. Remember the car chase way back in like the second or third episode? In episode one of like the very second video I uploaded? Should we be worried yep. about your younger self and Enda Strickland? 
That is a peculiar wrinkle in the space-time continuum. But I'm sure nothing will come of it. I can't possibly imagine myself becoming attached to a woman like that. Uh, maybe possible foreshadowing. <laughs> I don't know, that's what it sounds like. But, um, yeah, um, Officer Park, I just remember now, was the guy that was chasing Kit Tannen very early on in the game. But then Marty appeared with this time machine right in between them. And maybe uh, Officer Parker got lost and was never able to track him down. That's the only thing I can possibly think of. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm still a little confused by all this time travel. Don't worry about temporal mechanics. Just focus on Miss Trotter and Officer Parker. Okay, okay, okay. Well... Uh... Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. You're a That's loser. All well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to Kid's speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that. The hell place you're again. not. You're coming with us. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Yes, yeah, your ass here. Safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary. <gasps> Sagan. Where's kid? Oh shit. Don't worry. They just saw they just saw Doc and they recognize him as Carl Sagan, remember? That's not good. Shit, shit, shit. Let us back in. Welcome back, sir. Good, get out of my way. What's it going to take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Do, 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 Trixie! Your boyfriend's outside. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Arthur's waiting outside. Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Buddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to... Come up for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Nice. Had a girl. Oh shit, that's not good. Hey, you. Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my. Hey, unit. they just kicked you out. What are you doing back in here? Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why you? Get out of my way. I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for tonight. Throw his ass out. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I. Ah! Oh shit! Oh my God! What was that? Oh my God! No. Trixie. Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. What about your insurance policy? There ain't no insurance policy. After tonight, I'm tossing it in the furnace and burning it up. Oh my god, did they kill Arthur? Did she kill Arthur? What the hell happened? Break a leg out there. Thanks. I think they killed... She killed Arthur. We gotta get outside right away. You gotta be kidding me. This is not good. Alright, we gotta get outside right away. I think she... This is this is terrible. Move, lady. How do we? Where's the outdoors? There you go. No, that's the. Damn it! 
keep stepping in the wrong way. It's like so awkward sometimes, these controls. There you go. Oh my god. Well, Marty's not disappearing, so I don't understand. What happened now here? Oh my god. Blood. Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena answering rat, Artie <sighs> McFly. You killed him. And get this. The little worms whispering away all conquistadorial-like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head, which causes Artie's nose to stop bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees crying and begging for McFly's life! So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. <laughs> oh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Oh, man. I thought they killed... Oh, man, that's, that's crazy. I thought for sure that they shot uh, Arthur McFly. Thank God they didn't. Well, now what? <laughs> Talk to Zane about the Wall of Fame. Okay. Well, back to the club we go. This is a pain in the ass. Why do I have to keep Welcome knocking? Back, I was just sir. I was just here. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on kid? I don't know. Let me talk to her one more time. This is getting nowhere. Uh, Trixie? Yeah. I don't care. What are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Wait a minute. Maybe she'll Where's sing. There's a leg out there. Thanks. I know. I remember we got uh, the music from uh, Edna. Let's see if, if we give it to her if she'll sing it. Hey, Trixie, look over there. Why? Oh, Didn't you nice. See it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. He switched the lyrics. Now, all right. What is this? Uh, where the hell are we going? I am so confused. Oh God, am I ever confused? Who's, who's this Zane? Who is this Zane that I speak of? Uh... The Shrew. Didn't burrow deep enough. Checkerboard Charlie. Removed from the board. I guess someone jumped him. <laughs> hmm. Looks like someone's about to be added to Tannen's Wall of Fame. Uh... Yeah. You in? Yeah, sure. I'll bet on red. No. Even number. Even's my lucky number. Twenty-one. This isn't my game. All right, I'm starting to guess this thing is rigged now. We can't win. <laughs> uh, so what are we doing? I have no idea. I have to use my clues. Convinced to. In addition to his other talents, Zane is a pretty good. Who's Zane? Oh God! Zane, Zane! I don't know what I'm doing now. Wrong way, wrong way. We are so lost. This is what I get for doing a blind. Let's play of a game. Game of the gods. Game of the gods. No. Okay, so it's not that way. How about this way? Hey, Matt. Hey, Zane. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? The wall. So about this, uh, 
portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving kid. <laughs> They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it? A, a circumstantial coincidence. I gotcha. Yeah. What's Parker's problem? Ah, Danny Parker. Now his problems follow him around like a pack of wolves. Really? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dang troubles, psychiatric troubles, you name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. The right frame of mind, huh? Give me a goddamn drink. I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh... On second thought, forget it. Suit Pepsi. Yourself. Pepsi! What happened in the alley? Do you know what happened to Trixie out there? She seems pretty freaked out. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about Trixie's She's emotions. freaked out. No one ever space. uses... Kid doesn't pay me nearly no one, ever, no one uses the, that stupid catchphrase in, the, in this timeline. Or in the, in the 30s. Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Shut up! Punk.